because I can't, I can hear you, but I can't talk. And it's like, it's like, it's a Triton headset. It's a professional headset, but it just, now it just doesn't want to work. Like, what the fuck? Well, so really, the headset is so good. It's constantly all fucked, but I mean, it's just, it's just, no, now it's just shit. Yeah, I think I know where the problem is. Well then... Definitely we'll in the wire. Well, it might okay, be. well, whatever. As long as you have another headset to talk to. True. I have this one, but this one's kind of good. But, you know, I don't know how I sound, though. If, uh, Oh, you're so fine. I sound exactly the same as the other one last time. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes I think they're changing up my voice and making me confused. Like, my old voice sounds like this. Like, this one sounds like this. Like, my old old headset made me sound like a little kid. The one of my headsets actually recorded my actual like, voice tone and everything. This one's close. If it was a little bit deeper than that, then, then, then yeah, I would be straight on. I'm playing on the Death Star right now. If my voice was just a pizza bit, well, just a bit. If I can hear myself right I wake up, like, it looks perfectly fine tonight, but then all the time I wake up, and it doesn't even be suckers. Like, then I just don't know what to do. I have, like, so instant, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just so all the better. Mm. You know, stop the annoying people, stop the droids, stop the fucking droids. Oh yeah, I was playing XCOM 2 last night. Just so I could hang it, because I'm going to start um, recording sometime today on XCOM 2 and I'm going to start making that live stream. Mm -hmm. Check out the Yeah, I think I'm going to do that for the next couple of days. I think if I can pull off an actual live stream of XCOM 2, then I think I'm going to get a lot more views. Which is what I'm after right now, I'm after the big game. Ignorance of the whole is fatal. Drivers. 21 kills. My partner just got wrecked. 21 pilot. No pilot. That's, that's new. That's new. Whoa. That's a big update. <laughs> um, hi. Wow. Um. This bug, your uncollected styles and emblems to be equipped, okay. This scratches and go home. Distance This scratch and you do your secondary weapon. What? Secondary weapon? Oh, that's not. This is your cross and your This is your face and your Oh, you're stupid. Like literally, Trove is just a game breaker. That is what it is. It's very so easy. This is your undoing. Does anybody care that we got a rebel screen behind us? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> you know, if you guys see him, you guys will just turn around and fuck him anyway. You know, who cares? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Witness the power of the force. Okay, now I can't see. Alright, come here. This will cut you down. 
You're gonna do Battlefront later? Yeah. Great. I think we're now gonna aim on XCOM 2. XCOM 2 is really fun. I was up playing that game for a while. It was really fun. It's hard. This is like one of my only games that is actually hard and challenging, but also fun. Like, I, I've always been interested in that game. It's challenging. It's challenging. How's Carly? She's doing awesome. She's doing okay. Yeah, she's never on. Obviously, I haven't talked to her in a while, but I mean... Yeah, I'm probably doing okay. I don't know if she figured out that this is a life and death situation or whatever, but... I feel very very bad for her. She's just like, oh, I'm gonna go get her mother's house. But yeah, it's like her mother's house, but at the same time, like, she's just like, it's just like, I feel bad for her mother, but I don't feel bad for her. I don't know what's going on with me. Like, I should feel really guilty and bad, but I am not. But I know I do. And it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, I want to feel bad for her, but at the same time, I just don't. Like, when I hear about a situation with your mother and how, and you know, I think of how it affects her, I just go like, I don't know how I should feel. I'm just... <laughs> Well, I do know, but I don't know how I'm supposed to feel it after every single horrible thing that probably has done in your life. I, I don't know. But yeah, I feel bad that a human life is probably gonna die. Um, I might witness it, but I mean, I don't know why I don't feel that bad. Right. I mean, I don't feel bad. PlayStation, could you not do that noise right now? Oh, shit! Or, you know, PlayStation, just keep on making that happen, because, you know, no harm. This will cut you down. Oh hey, I just found out that they're going to be coming out with a Star Wars RPG. Oh, nice. Did you know that? No. Well, do you know the game called um, Star Wars Old Republic? No. No? Well, if you ever figure out, uh, well, if you ever find out what that game's like, it, the new Star Wars game's going to be exactly like that. Check it out if you I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm just really excited for that Star Wars RPG. I want that Star Wars RPG so badly. I know that there's a supply raid game, but I right right but like right now I don't I don't have people to do that since the aliens pretty much killed almost 12 of my troops already. <laughs> like literally, I, I can go into my memorial right now and I can tell you how many troops have died. I think I'm close to 15. And, and I pulled off all the right movements, all the smart moves, every single move that the game recommends, but I go in, all of a sudden the aliens flank me and I just get fucked. I just get straight out fucked. And my troops, and especially my rookies, my rookies are getting picked on. The only ones that are actually living and actually doing somewhat well is my snipers. My sharpshooters. All my snipers, like all my sniper guys, are living. <laughs> only my snipers. No one else, just my snipers. Kind of, kind of, um... <laughs> Beat you getting screwed from a uh, scuzzy one. Yeah. Right now, I'm just I'm just getting bum fucked by aliens, and it, and it makes me upset that I'm getting this bum fucked by aliens. And now I'm gonna go into another alien mission and get my ass kicked. So this is yeah, this will be fun. Just just like scuzzy. 
Yeah, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I have I have a squad. I have a sniper. I have the grenadier. I have the other guy, and I have another grenadier. Because we lost our ranger. <laughs> oh, nice. So now I have two people with miniguns. Oh god, we're so fucked. I need to have someone who's at least quick on their feet, so... Um... Makes me upset, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and then you got I screwed. Love... And then you got screwed I by love... Killer Gameplay 4. <laughs> I know. I, I swear, I lost my best ranger. My best ranger got sniped in the side by a, by a sectoid, which is like a Martian. Oh my and god. I, yeah, I lost her, and I'm really upset about that. Because, you know like, she was the best the I think I ever had. The best soldier. She is the most experienced, the most talented, even. Yeah. And yet she got fucked. Damn. Yeah, she just. If I didn't make her go behind that tree, if she did not go behind that tree and the car, she would be hurt. She would just be completely fine. I should have just kept her behind the. I should have kept her behind the goddamn car. If I kept her behind the goddamn car, that sectoid would not have a good shot. But then again, there was an alien right in front of her, so I did not know what to do. So it was kind of like kill the alien and risk her being exposed, or hide behind the car and have her being beaten up by an alien. Damn. Kind of like, what do I do? Because <laughs> my sniper couldn't shoot. He he already used his one shot on the uh, sectoid, which didn't kill him, by the way. So it was kind of like, what do I do? <laughs> Should I try and run as fast as I can, but have her exposed at the exact same time, or what should I do? So it's kind of like, I only have two options. It's either risk her neck, or risk her neck again. Now, last night when I said that you were going to get shot by a Imperial Stormtrooper, don't ask me how yeah. I knew that. Because you know when I die. You know my patterns. As much as I know. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, um, all my troopers, like all my soldiers, are white. Because you know, now you troopers. understand <laughs> the power of the dark side. Gotta get some sort of freaking um. Gotta get some sort of luck going on here. Why is that rebel skin? Wait a second. I saved. I saved my um. I saved my ranger in the character pool so I can bring her back at some this point later on in the game. Except with a different name. Yes! I am kick ass side. smart. Mmm, I'm so happy. Because I remember, I saved my sniper in the character pool so I can make a new game and get her back. Ignorance of the oh, yeah. Ignorance of the yeah. I'm so happy. So she will live on. But she did get fucked in the process. <laughs> oh god. I'm so screwed. We have our one guy. Our one guy who is like glued out right now. Oh, hey. Um, in this game, um, there's a class called the Specialists, they're all about technology, they all have, like, drones and all that stuff, they make sure it. And, I found this kind of funny, but racist at the same time. All my Japanese, all my Japanese soldiers keep being specialists. Damn! All of them, all of them. And I found it so racist at the time. It's like, why all my Japanese people become specialists? Like, can one just be like a kick-ass sniper or something like that? Like, no, they're all special. Really. All of them. Ugh, it kills me. It's like, game, you're so racist. It's only the Japanese. Stay in the party, it's not, not gonna take me long to get there. Alright. There is no defense. I'll be here. Alive. Not dying from fucking killer gameplay, you know. 18 health. 
he had 18 health and he killed you. Yeah. All right. Our specialist is all dressed up in white. This is like the KKK all over again. Oh god. All right, soldiers. This is the uh, Bible.